We need to be taking action on climate change with the world because um, it's pollution doesn't know any borders. This is Two Times Faster, a look at Environment and Climate Change Canada's first comprehensive climate report and how its findings are impacting all of us. Catherine McInnes here. We have a terrific report on our changing climate. Tell us some of the key takeaways. First of all, it says that Canada's uh, climate is warming twice the global average and three times or more in our north. Um, so we need to adapt to the impacts of climate change. But the second thing is it really says we have a choice. One is a scenario where we are really ambitious, we tackle climate change, we tackle our emissions. Um, and then they have another scenario where it's a high emission scenario. So it's really serious impacts of climate change and more extreme weather, flooding, droughts, forest fires. From 2000 to 2018, the, the temperature goes like that in Canada and it correlates to a lot of significant weather events, doesn't it? Often you're talking about long-term 20, 30 timelines. Yeah. It's hard for people to think about that. But just remember last summer. So last summer, across the country, you were seeing impacts of climate change, extreme weather of all kinds. We've seen in the West a uh, you know, huge increase in the severity, the strength, the length of forest fires, and that's going to continue as it gets extremely hot. The fire itself is moving in this way very, very rapidly. This was a beast. It was an animal. It was like a fire I've never seen in my life. Our warming temperatures and heat waves, they're going to become more plentiful. If you look at what the projections are for Ottawa, you're going to go from 17 days over 30 degrees to uh, 47 or more. That's astronomical. And when you have droughts and then you have floods on top of that, uh, extreme precipitation, it causes challenges for the food that we rely on and, and for farmers generally. Climate change is impacting our weather, our food security, even our health. All of a sudden, like West Nile and Zika, these are tropical diseases that are suddenly arriving here. And, there's, and then there's the huge change to, eat, to even what's happening in the forest because of new invasive species. Zika, Lyme disease, Lyme disease doubled uh, in Ottawa in 2017, the, the number of cases. They aren't dying off because um, they don't have the, the cooling. And so we're just seeing its multiplier effects. Rainfall is going to be a huge issue. Storms will, will be more intense with heavier amounts of rain all at once. We've already seen a lot of flooding. So flooding is actually the number one cost that we're paying now. And insurance costs have gone up. Right here and right now and yet no. As you can see, people are uh, traveling by boat. We've seen floods um, that used to be once every 100 years, being once every five years. And so- That's huge. When you, that's, I mean, that's, if that isn't a glaring signal that there's something wrong. Also, it should be a call to action that we need to do more rather than less to tackle climate change. Solutions will require cooperation between government, industry, and citizens. <laughs> We all have work to do, and that's what this report says. I mean, this report says, really, we need to be serious. And, and that's why I think it's really incumbent on politicians of all political stripes to really step up and, as much as possible, not make this a political issue. Make this just a, an issue that we all need to deal with because it's an economic issue, it's a health issue. But I don't want to be all doom and gloom because the reality is, one, yes, we have to adapt, so we're going to have to think about what the future holds, but we also need to act. We can do this. We can act and we can act together to tackle climate change.